Welcome to our channel. Today we embark on a journey to the very edges of the natural world, where the familiar gives way to the truly extraordinary. Our planet, in all its beauty and complexity, never ceases to amaze us. Join me as we delve into the top seven weirdest natural phenomena ever caught on camera. From the depths of our oceans to the heights of our atmosphere, we'll witness events so strange, so awe-inspiring that they seem almost otherworldly. Prepare to be captivated by glowing waves, fiery rainbows and clouds that seem to defy gravity. Let us venture together into the heart of these mysteries and marvel at the wonders that our planet holds. Imagine gazing out over a moonlit ocean, the waves lapping gently against the shore. But as you watch, the water begins to shimmer and glow, transforming into a liquid tapestry of ethereal light. This, my friends, is the magic of bioluminescence. These mesmerizing displays are the work of tiny organisms called plankton, drifting in their trillions within the ocean currents. Disturbed by the crashing waves or the stroke of a paddle, they release a burst of chemical energy, transforming the water into a living, breathing constellation. The most common type of bioluminescent plankton are dinoflagellates, single-celled algae that illuminate the water with their blue-green glow. In some parts of the world, the concentrations of these organisms are so high that the waves themselves appear to be on fire, rolling onto the beach in incandescent breakers. One of the most famous examples of bioluminescent waves can be found in Mosquito Bay, Puerto Rico. Here, the waters are so densely populated with dinoflagellates that the bay shimmers and sparkles with the slightest disturbance. So the next time you find yourself by the ocean at night, take a moment to appreciate the hidden wonders that may lie beneath the surface. Our journey now takes us skyward to witness a phenomenon that paints the heavens with vibrant hues. Imagine a rainbow not arcing across the sky after a storm, but appearing as a luminous halo, a fiery smile gracing the clouds. This, my friends, is a fire rainbow, or more accurately, a circumhorizontal arc. Despite their fiery appearance, these celestial displays have nothing to do with fire. They are, in fact, a rare type of ice halo, formed by the refraction of sunlight through ice crystals high in the atmosphere. For a fire rainbow to occur, conditions must be perfect. The sun must be at an elevation of at least 58 degrees above the horizon, and cirrus clouds, those wispy formations composed of ice crystals, must be present. As sunlight enters these hexagonal ice crystals, it is refracted or bent, just as light is bent when passing through a prism. This refraction separates the sunlight into its different wavelengths, creating the spectrum of colors we see in a rainbow. Fire rainbows are most commonly observed during the summer months in mid-latitudes, where the sun is high in the sky. So the next time you find yourself gazing up at a summer sky, keep an eye out for these fiery apparitions. Our exploration of nature's wonders now takes us to the heart of a volcanic eruption, where the very ground beneath our feet trembles with primal energy. As molten rock erupts from the Earth's fiery core, a spectacle of terrifying beauty unfolds above volcanic lightning. This electrifying phenomenon, also known as a dirty thunderstorm, occurs when lightning is generated within a volcanic plume, the towering column of ash and gas ejected during an eruption. As the molten rock, ash and gas are violently ejected from the volcano, they rub against each other, creating static electricity. This generates a separation of charges within the plume, with positive charges rising to the top and negative charges gathering at the bottom. When the electrical potential difference between these areas becomes great enough, a powerful discharge of electricity occurs, illuminating the ash cloud with jagged bolts of lightning. Volcanic lightning has been observed in eruptions around the world, from the towering peaks of the Andes to the fiery heart of Indonesia. These electrifying events are a stark reminder of the immense forces at work within our planet. While witnessing volcanic lightning firsthand is an experience best left to seasoned volcanologists, we can still marvel at the captured images and videos of these events. Chapter 4 Brinicles, the Icy Fingers of Death Our journey now takes us to the frigid polar regions beneath the frozen surface of the ocean where a phenomenon as beautiful as it is deadly unfolds the formation of brinicles. These underwater icicles, also known as ice stalactites, descend from the underside of sea ice, 
reaching down into the depths like icy fingers. The formation of a brinicle begins with the freezing of seawater. As seawater freezes, it expels salt, creating a supercooled, highly saline brine that is denser than the surrounding seawater. This brine then sinks towards the ocean floor, creating a downward flow. As the supercooled brine comes into contact with the relatively warmer seawater below, it freezes the water around it, forming a hollow tube of ice. This tube, the brinicle, continues to grow downwards, driven by the constant flow of supercooled brine from above. As the brinicle grows, it creates a deadly trap for marine life. The highly saline brine is denser than the surrounding seawater and sinks to the ocean floor, creating a pool of supercooled saline water. Any creatures unfortunate enough to become trapped within this icy embrace are quickly frozen solid. Brinicles with their deadly beauty remind us that even in the most extreme environments, life finds a way to thrive. Chapter 5 Lenticular Clouds, UFOs in Disguise Our exploration of the unusual now returns us to the skies, where we encounter cloud formations so peculiar, so otherworldly in their appearance, that they have long been mistaken for visiting spacecraft. These are lenticular clouds, named for their smooth, lens-shaped appearance, often resembling gigantic flying saucers hovering over mountain peaks. Lenticular clouds are formed by a fascinating interplay of wind and topography. As wind flows over a mountain range or other elevated terrain, it is forced upwards, creating a wave pattern in the atmosphere. This wave-like motion can create areas of rising and sinking air. As the air rises and cools, it reaches its dew point, the temperature at which water vapor condenses into visible water droplets or ice crystals. This condensation forms a cloud at the crest of the wave, creating the distinctive lenticular shape. Lenticular clouds are often stationary, appearing to hover in place even as the wind continues to flow around them. These striking cloud formations are most commonly observed near mountain ranges, but they can also form over other elevated landforms, such as hills and even large buildings. While their appearance may spark imaginations and fuel UFO sightings, lenticular clouds are simply a testament to the intricate and often beautiful ways in which the atmosphere interacts with the Earth's surface. So the next time you find yourself gazing up at a mountain vista, keep an eye out for these celestial oddities. Chapter 6. Blood Falls, Antarctica's Crimson Cascade. Our journey now takes us to the coldest, driest and windiest continent on Earth, Antarctica, where amidst the icy wilderness lies a sight both eerie and captivating, Blood Falls. Here at the edge of the Taylor Glacier, a blood-red waterfall stains the pristine white ice, a crimson cascade seemingly flowing from a wound in the glacier's side. The source of the red color is iron-rich water, trapped beneath the glacier for millions of years. The iron-rich water, now stained crimson, is forced up through fissures in the glacier by pressure from the ice above, eventually emerging at the surface as blood falls. Blood falls, with its eerie beauty and scientific significance, reminds us that even in the most remote and unforgiving corners of our planet, life finds a way. Chapter 7. Morning Glory Clouds. Rollers in the Sky. Our final destination takes us to the remote wilderness of northern Australia, where a meteorological marvel unfolds, the morning glory cloud. Imagine a massive tubular cloud stretching for hundreds of kilometers, rolling across the sky like a celestial wave. These rare cloud formations are a type of roll cloud, characterized by their long cylindrical shape. They are thought to be related to sea breezes, temperature inversions, and the unique topography of the Gulf of Carpentaria. One theory suggests they form by a collision of sea breezes from opposite directions. As these breezes meet, they force moist air upwards, creating a wave-like disturbance. This wave propagates horizontally, creating the rolling motion of the cloud. The arrival of a morning glory cloud is an impressive sight to behold. Chapter 8 Until next time as our journey through these extraordinary natural phenomena comes to an end, we are left with a sense of wonder and a renewed appreciation for the boundless beauty and mystery of our planet. From the depths of our oceans to the heights of our atmosphere, from the icy plains of Antarctica to the remote wilderness of Australia, the natural world never ceases to amaze. 
These seven wonders captured on camera for all to see are just a glimpse into the vast and intricate tapestry of life and geological forces that shape our world. They are a reminder that there is still so much to discover, to explore and to understand about the planet we call home. Thank you for joining me on this adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more amazing content. See you next time.